Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Wednesday the 1st of August where I set up just one of our signals from uh, the hundreds that our members get every single day. In our members area, our members get to choose from potential long and short fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. Also potential long stochastic long and short trades on intraday time frames. Today I'm going to look at long trades. So for today, our members simply go into the 1st of August for potential long with fifth wave trades and click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet looks something like this. I'm concentrating on the 60 minute, so potential long trades on the 60 minute today. At the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can also see the daily and the weekly tabs there. So I've gone for PHG. which is down here with Philips uh, on the 60 minute time frame. So let's have a look at what it looks like on the chart here. So first of all, let me just zoom out a little bit here. This is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com for the Ninja Trader platform. It is also available for TradeStation, Multicharts and Think or Swim. So for our members that have the Indicator Suite, we were only interested in this current uh, long um, trend and it's pulled back against okay so we've isolated very recently around about July the 23rd um, and this we're just interested in this long move so our indicator suite automatically labels the Elliott wave count one two three and the wave four pull back against that main short-term trend here so let's zoom in and have a quick look on how to set this up and the initial filters that we have in the membership for the stock scanner so first of all we've got a way for pullback so that's pulled back against the main trend it's found support here over the last two days in our amber zone this is our probability zones on the Elliott wave indicator suite and this represents if it holds support here and moves higher to get a new fifth wave trade into our automated target zone around about $45 there's an 80% probability if we do start to move away from that zone there the next filter is the 535 this is looking at the behavior of the wave 4 that's pulled back between 19 and 140% on this pullback here uh, and that is a really really good sign once we start to move back up above there um, we we get the crowning and we should get the fifth wave but this is not over yet it may come lower at the moment yesterday we were near the previous day's lows but didn't break them if we do start to move higher today uh, we've got a good chance of a, of a fifth wave move and we'll talk about the entry in a minute but also we have a stochastic crossover in the oversold zone there as well um, which represents potentially now we're going to go higher so those are the main three filters then we have to look at setup we want to make sure that we've got a conservative setup in, in the with these markets at the moment they're very very volatile so I want to be above $44 above the high of yesterday 4414 is my entry the stop loss is just below the low point here on this wave 4 so around about 4371 that gives us a great risk reward of 1 to 2 into our target zone there target zone middle of the target zone is about $45 for this potential trade now if it does make a new slightly new low today we've still got potential for this um, trade we just need to give it time to settle and find that support but at this moment in time the last two days this support level seems to be really holding if we start to move away from there we go through our 6-4 moving average high which is the green moving average here part of our indicator suite and then above $44 we've got a great entry long for PHG on the 60 minute time frame so that's it for today have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow